Good morning, welcome to GTC 2015. Welcome to Silicon Valley. GTC is about developers. GTC is where we share what we've learned, we share ideas, we're inspired by each other's groundbreaking work, and we dream about the future. We got lots to talk to you guys about this year. We have a great show for you. GTC is about you. Let's get started. I'm going to talk about four things today. Four announcements. The first, and every GTC needs it, is a new GPU. This year I'm going to talk about a new GPU and deep learning. I'm going to talk about a very fast box and deep learning. I'm going to talk about our roadmap and show you the next click of the exciting work that we're doing at NVIDIA and deep learning. And I'm going to talk to you about self-driving cars as it relates to deep learning. So I don't know if you've noticed a trend, a thread, but we're going to talk a lot about deep learning. We have a lot to talk to you about. This, this topic of deep learning is probably one of the most exciting things that's happening in the computer industry. Arguably as exciting as the invention of the internet. And I think by the end of the show, by the end of the event, you're going to realize the amazing work that people are doing in this field, it's amazing results already, and it's amazing future. The potential of this technology, the potential of this work, and its implications to all of the industries, all of the industries, and all fields of science, amazing applications. The possibilities are really just endless. And so I want to dedicate my entire talk on this topic. And that's surely not enough time. And in fact, you're going to see a lot of other talks dedicated to this topic. And I think that we're going to talk about this for the next decade. For many of you, you're already deep in this field. For many of you, you're getting an introduction to this field. And hopefully, all of you will be inspired by the work. But before we start, let's talk about last year. We had an amazing year last year. A lot of exciting developments. Of course, GeForce. GeForce is the number one PC gaming platform in the world. The PC gaming market is the largest of a massive $100 billion gaming market. It is still growing. The production of games increasing all the time. The type of genres like MOBA, Massive Online, Battle Arena, and of course VR making a huge difference in the future of gaming. Gaming is also important to all of us because not only because it's fun, but because it's such a large industry and because it's so technically challenging, it is the fuel of our R&D. A couple of weeks ago, we announced NVIDIA's first living room entertainment product, the NVIDIA Shield console. We want to do with the Shield smart TV device we want to do for the television experience what smartphones has done for mobile. We believe that the television is finally able to be revolutionized. We have the fundamental technologies now to enable a whole new type of experience for all of you. Shield was designed with a Tegra X1, the fastest, most powerful mobile chip in the world. It's snappy, it's 4K, of course, because it's built by NVIDIA. It is also made to game. We're really excited about Shield. Cars. A car is essentially software computers on wheels. What's happening in, of course, what happened in the mobile industry with a smartphone is now happening also in the car industry. The type of experiences you're going to see in the near future are really quite inspiring. The days of dials, knobs, buttons are gone. The future of your car is going to be digital displays, touch, gaze, voice, gesture, all kinds of amazing ways to interact with the car. The car is going to be one delightful computer rolling down the streets. It'll also be smart. 
And when we say smart, of course, in the context of smart in this conference, it's related to deep learning. And so today we're going to talk also about the implications of deep, deep learning and our perspective on how deep learning could affect the future of car designs. We had a record year in our car business, doubled year over year. We had a record year in our enterprise business. Enterprise graphics continues to be very exciting. This morning I read a news article that said the work that we're doing, the NVIDIA Grid virtual GPU, is like nitrogen to VDI. Nitrogen in a car, of course, turbocharges it in the case of VDI. Now with grid accelerated VDI, there's no reason why anyone should have a bad VDI experience anymore. This business is really doing well. Last year, we saw 1,800 trials, deployments, pilots, and a growth about 100% year over year. This is going to be a very exciting area of growth. For the fifth consecutive year, NVIDIA Quadro was involved in the creation of the Oscar-winning movies in the best special effects. It is now in the process of helping create the next Star Wars. You guys can imagine how exciting that is. I'm nearly out of my body excited about it. We can't wait. I'll create any technology to help them make Star Wars faster. <laughs> Last year, we also had a record year in Tesla. Tesla is our supercomputing platform. Our country, the Department of Energy, selected Tesla with MVLink to power the world's next two fastest supercomputers. There are supercomputers being built everywhere. Baidu recently announced, and this is probably Andrew Ng's lab, announced that they were building a supercomputer for artificial intelligence work. There's supercomputers now being built in inter internet service providers, consumer web services companies all over the world. The implications of supercomputing, high performance computing, in the future internet services is pretty exciting. And in fact, it led to one of the greatest achievements of this year. For the first time in history, for the first time in history, a computer visual recognition system was able to beat a human. Was able to beat a human. Not your normal human, not a normal human, I'll introduce this human later, uh, but not your normal human, a superhuman. And this particular computer was able to beat it using in a contest called ImageNet, and I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. It leads to some pretty exciting implications. Amazing year in visual computing. We had a fantastic year. I want to thank all of you guys for that. 